What's up guys? So today I'm going to be putting the clutch and the flywheel on the back of the engine, attaching the transmission, and then dropping it into the car. Actually, I'm just kidding. I already did all that, but I didn't record an intro. So I'm going to be doing that in today's video, but it's already done. So if you look over there, you can see, but you guys get to see that later. Also, a little bit of a sneak peek at the next video. Got a S14 subframe here. It's good that it's dark. That means you guys can't quite see what, what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy the video. See you soon. All right, it's in again, but this time it's got a transmission attached to it. Yes, sir. But yeah, that was a bit of a pain, but it's in there and it doesn't drag. Looks good. All right guys, so I've been meaning to get one of these for a while. Just drove two and a half hours south. Here it is. Oh yeah. That thing's gonna look nasty on the VQ. I'm hoping it solves some of the, some of the hood clearance issues, but after looking at it, it kind of looks like um, it might be the same. Like it looks like the neck might come out to the same spot as the uh, one on the stock plenum spacer. So we'll see if it actually makes a difference. But I don't, I don't really care. I mean, if I can't fit it on the uh, the swap, then I'll just put it on my car. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, man, kind of excited. Check it out. <laughs> 